The GH5 has a mode called 4K 6K Photo. Now, this shoots video with the intention of you pulling a single frame from it. When you're shooting 4K, you're pulling a frame that's 8 megapixels. 6K, each frame is 18 megapixels now. Now, to access this, you turn the mode wheel up here to, it'll say 6K up here. But in the menus, you can choose to shoot in 4K if you want to uh, have a smaller file. You can get there two ways. So let's do this. Let's go to the menu. We go to the camera setting, page three of five, down to the 6K, 4K photo, turn this on. And this gives us access to all of the different settings for 4K, 6K photo. But let's go back and use the quick menu method, okay? So the quick menu method shows you all of your choices real quick. So you can see the 6K ones here. We have 6K burst at 30 frames per second. We have um, 4K burst at 60 frames per second, so that's 60 frames of 8 megapixel files, and we have 4K at 30 frames per second. Now we also have three choices in here. We have 6K burst. Each one of these has burst, start stop, and pre-burst. So now let's demonstrate these three. So we're in the 6K burst mode now. Now in the 6K burst mode, I'm going to hold the shutter button down while Matt lights the candle. Okay. Now, as soon as I let go of the shutter, you'll see the camera builds the previews for each frame. Now, what you can do here is you can run your finger across the bottom to go frame by frame, and as you see Matt pull the match up there and light it, you can choose, like, if you want right there where he just touches the candle, if you want to save that frame, you just touch this button right here, and it says save this image, and it saves it onto the card right next to your video file. So you still have the entire video, but you've pulled a frame from it. Now I'm going to demonstrate the 4K preburst mode. So I'm going to press Q menu. I'm going to choose 4K preburst. Now Matt is going to extinguish the candle. And just as he extinguishes the candle, or right afterwards, I'm going to press the shutter button. Now it's going to draw the frames down here at the bottom for us. And then what I'm going to do is scroll back, and you're going to see the candle lit, okay? So what this did was it recorded a second before I pressed the shutter, and then when I pressed the shutter, it added a second afterwards. So we couldn't miss Matt extinguishing the candle. Now I want to demonstrate the 4K stop-start mode. So I'm going to push the Q menu, And we were in the 4K preburst. I'm going to choose the center one here, which is 4K stop start. Now, in this mode, when I press the shutter, it's going to start the video. And then when I press it again, it'll stop. So I'm going to press the shutter. Now, I push the shutter again to stop it, the shutter button. Now, my frames draw down here at the bottom. Now, because I want to be near the end, I'm going to drag this slider all the way down here. And then I'm going to go back until I see the lemon being squeezed right around here. Now, it's going to draw my frames again down here of this area. Now, I can go back and I can choose a spot where I see these drops. When this button reappears, I touch it. That says, save this image. When I press yes, it says it's JPEG to the SD card. 